morning dear students welcome once again to the biology class so let's begin with the class as you all know children we are dealing with chapter our environment so in today's class we'll be talking about trophic levels and energy flow trophic levels trophic levels are the various steps in the food chain at which the transfer of food or energy takes place these are known as trophic levels there is a gradual decrease in the amount of energy transfer from one trophic level to the next trophic level in a food chain various trophic levels are the plants or the producers constitute the first trophic level the herbivores or primary consumers form the second trophic level carnivores or secondary consumers make up the third trophic level similarly the large carnivores or the tertiary consumers which feed upon the small carnivores constitute the fourth trophic level so now children we will discuss about 10% law it's very important please try to understand it very carefully 10% law states that only 10% of the energy entering a particular trophic level of organisms is available for transfer to the next higher trophic level try to understand with the help of this example suppose 1000 joule of solar energy is received by green plants then only 1% of solar energy available on earth is utilized by plants so only 10 joule that is 1% of 1000 joule is trapped by plants and rest 990 joules of energy is lost to the environment so plants utilizes only 10 joule of energy next only 10% of the 10 joule energy of the plant that is 1 joule is available to the herbivore animals while 9 joule is lost in the environment again just 10% of 1 joule of energy of herbivores will be utilized by carnivores thus carnivore animals have only 0.1 joule of energy while 0.9 joule of energy is again wasted so this is how you have to understand children what is 10% law and one thing you have to understand very carefully here that is when the energy the solar energy is given to the plants for the photosynthesis at that time plants are converting only 1% of the total energy falling on them into chemical energy rest in all other trophic levels of a food chain there is 10% law which is to be followed so children now this entire process of 1% and 10% law of flowing of energy we can summarize like this energy is used and conveyed from one trophic level to another in a food chain this is called flow of energy green plants capture about 1% of the solar energy incident on the earth through the biochemical process of photosynthesis a part of this trapped energy is used by plants in performing their metabolic activities and some energy is released as heat into the atmosphere the remaining energy is chemical energy stored in the plants as carbohydrates when plants are eaten up by herbivores the chemical energy stored in the plants is transferred to these animals these animals utilize some of this energy for their metabolic activities and some energy is released as heat and the remaining energy is stored the process of energy transferred is similarly repeated with carnivores and top carnivores thank you shem stars that's all for today you can drop your queries if you have any on the google classroom take care god bless you all